Get ready to cast spells and immerse yourself in the wizarding world like never before. Today, we're diving into the world of Harry Potter video games and exploring the best-selling titles of all time. And with the highly anticipated release of Hogwarts Legacy just around the corner, now is the perfect time to relive the magic and see what the franchise has to offer. Starting off this list at number five, we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. One of the first games released in 2002 for the Game Boy Advance, this game was a hit among Harry Potter fans, allowing players to explore the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and experience the events of the second book in the series. In this game, players can fly on broomsticks, cast spells, solve puzzles as they navigate through Hogwarts and work to uncover the mystery of the Chamber of Secrets. The game also features mini-games such as collecting ingredients for potions and solving riddles, adding to the overall gameplay experience. This game sold over 2 million copies worldwide, however some critics felt that the game was too repetitive with limited interactions and too many similar looking environments. At number 4 we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Released in 2001 for various gaming platforms, this game was based on the first book in the series and offered players the chance to explore Hogwarts playing as Harry, Ron, and Hermione as they embark on their first year at Hogwarts. Players can attend classes, play Quidditch, and engage in duels with other characters in the game, all while working to uncover the secrets of the Philosopher's Stone. This game also features some pretty challenging puzzles, making it a little more difficult, but still a hit for those Harry Potter fans. This game featured a lot of puzzle elements, but many critics felt these were too simple with limited exploration and a lack of challenge. Despite all that, the game sold over 6 million copies worldwide. Coming in number 3, we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Released in 2005, this game was based on the fourth book in the series and allowed players to experience the Triwizard Tournament, interact with characters from the series, and cast spells in the game's action-packed battles. In this game, players can participate in the various challenges of the tournament, such as dragon riding and underwater exploration, as well as engage in battles with characters such as Voldemort and the Death Eaters. This game also featured a robust spellcasting system, allowing players to cast spells with gestures and spells that have different effects and strengths, adding to the fun. This game sold just over 4 million copies worldwide, but some critics really felt that the controls were clunky, the camera angles were frustrating, and really that detracted from what you were trying to do in this tournament. Still, The Goblet of Fire is a fantastic game, and frankly, one of my favorite books. Number two, we've got Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4. Released in 2010, this game allowed players to relive the events of the first four books in the series, but with that classic Lego twist. With the charming graphics, engaging gameplay, and family-friendly humor, this game was a huge hit among not only Harry Potter fans, but fans of the LEGO franchise. Players can collect LEGO studs, build and solve puzzled LEGO bricks, engage in battles with the villains from the series, all while exploring iconic locations from the books and movies. This game featured co-op gameplay, allowing players to team up with their friends or family to experience the events of the series together. It is no surprise that this game sold over 12 million copies worldwide. But being a LEGO game, some critics felt it was too short with too limited replay value. You're not expecting a whole lot of story in your LEGO games, but this one was a little shy on it. Finally at number one, we've got Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Released in 2009, this game was based on the sixth book in the series and allowed players to experience the events of this book interact with characters from the series, cast spells in action-packed battles, etc. In this game, players can participate in various activities all around Hogwarts, such as brewing potions and playing Quidditch, as well as engaging in battles with Voldemort and the Death Eaters. I mean, who else are you fighting in these books? Like many of the other games before it, this game featured the robust spellcasting system, allowing gestures and different strengths and effects to take place, but it had evolved over time. While this book and this movie may not be everybody's favorite, this game was one of the highest selling video games in the franchise. Thanks for watching today's video. If you're a fan of the Wizarding World, you will not want to miss out on Hogwarts Legacy. With the ability to create your own character and attend Hogwarts as a student, the possibilities are truly endless. Explore the magical castle and grounds, learn powerful spells and potions, and uncover the hidden secrets of the Wizarding World. And that's just to scratch the surface. The graphics and the gameplay look incredible, making this a must-have for any fan of the Harry Potter universe. So mark your calendars, folks. Hogwarts Legacy is set to release February 10th. Frankly, I can't wait to play it. Till then, keep spreading the magic, and we'll see you later.